What's up, everyone? Today's guest is Jace Fitzpatrick. He's a third year student at Ohio State University and just became the Illinois Super Regional Champion for Duper. That qualified them for the national tournament in November of this year. Jace, incredible ride. It's great to have you on the episode, man. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So Super Regional chance, Champs, just talk to me about it. How did it feel to, to bring one home for Ohio State? Uh, it felt great. I think this was our third regional. Um, we had been up to Michigan and then we had another one. Um, just great to finally have, like, put a great team together, get everybody going. Um, great team atmosphere at this one. A uh, ton of people, I think over 110 players. Definitely the biggest. And it was kind of just great to have everybody there. Um, we had a couple new teammates. Uh, my new men's partner, Callan. Great to play with. Super fun. From there, um, kind of get teamwork together. So hoping to just keep building on that and keep climbing. Dude, a fantastic run, um, especially in the finals. You guys were up 2-0, then you went 2-1, then you and your mix partner closed it out. When you're going into that mixed doubles match, what's going through your mind? Like, are you thinking, hey, I need to win this one to prevent the dream breaker? Or how are you feeling in that moment? Um, we had just come off the dream breaker victory against Indiana. So I think we were feeling good there. So I don't think there was a ton of pressure on if it went to a dream breaker. Obviously we were trying to avoid it if possible. Um, so kind of going in with the mindset of just having that dream breaker thought in the back of your head, but also go out and just win one point at a time. Um, it's a little different than side out scoring. So rally kind of keep it close, um, minimize those big runs because you can get those four or five point swings really quick with the rally scoring, kind of side out and then get two quick serves. So just kind of keep everything under control, stay calm, um, prevent any big swings. And then from there, just kind of build one point at a time and then ended up working out. And speaking of those big runs, when you had your your men's doubles match, once you guys switched sides, you guys had a big run too. I think you rattled off like seven, eight, nine points. How were you able to do that? Yeah, so a big thing at that facility that we played at, um, the sides played a huge factor, I think. Um, the windows and stuff, there were some glares on certain sides. So we knew kind of with the MLP being able to choose home and away and pick your sides, we kind of knew what side we wanted to be on. Um, and favor certain mixed matchups and men's matchups. And then from there, like we had a game earlier in the day, um, we were up 11-10 at the side switch and we rattled off 10 in a row to win. Wow. They didn't score another point. Um, <laughs> so the sides can kind of factor in like that. So I think a little bit of that, but also kind of once you catch the groove and get that little break where you can talk to your partner and be like, hey, this is what's working. Like, let's focus on this. And if you can hammer home your goal better than they can and kind of just rattle off as many points as possible. Yeah. And for the side, the side differences, it's interesting that you say that because when I think of indoor pickleball, I don't think of sides being a big factor, but you guys noticed that early on. Yeah, that was one of the things we noticed early on um, that the sun was coming up. So kind of you would catch certain glares on certain sides. Um, certain courts, you knew what side you wanted to be on versus like looking at windows or looking at a wall, wow. kind of whether you wanted to be um, on right or left, kind of how the glare was working out and different points during the day. Um, and we had just played the semifinal, kind of had a feeling for the court, um, knew where we wanted to set it up. So you guys factored in a lot of stuff. I mean, that's that's high IQ there. Not only thinking about what's happening on the court, but preparing yourself for different glares or just different sides in the venue. Yeah, kind of just looking at everything. Um, everything plays a factor. Obviously, like pickleball skills and playing is the most important. Sure. But there's other factors and environment that factors in, um, such as your teammates. Like getting loud can get in other people's head. Um, I had people during the finals that they were like, we love this guy because just trying to chirp a little bit, get in other people's heads. Um, I enjoy it. I think it's a fun thing. Um, keep it under control, obviously, but I think you can get in other people's heads and affect them a little bit more than they'd like to and get them off their game. Yeah, that's super exciting, especially when it comes to the team atmosphere and go into that men's and then the mixed doubles match. You played the right side in men's, but the left in mixed doubles. Is there a mental adjustment that you have to make when you do that? Or are you pretty much just locked in either way of the, uh, whichever side of the court you're on? Gotcha. Yeah, it's a little bit different on both sides kind of versus like the right side in men's. I try to set up points. 
Um, you want your person with the forehand in the middle to kind of be finishing a lot of your points, but you want your right side player to be pushing gaps and stuff that you can see and kind of get the points set up for the person on the left to finish or get a pop up. Um, so a big thing for me in men's is kind of set those points up, notice patterns and get people into patterns that I like. Um, and then for me, like we take that break, send out our other mixed team and then kind of let me reset and then get to get ready for the left side. Left side, it's a little more, especially in mixed, kind of where you can target, try and figure out certain focal points. Um, so just a big thing is playing consistent and finding those little patterns and grooves. Um, right side, I try to set up, whereas left side, I'm trying to find the patterns that I like, but in a slightly more aggressive manner. Yeah, and you did just that. And how does Ohio State do it? You guys won this tournament. You qualified for nationals. Is it these four players going to nationals or is that something that's decided later on in the year? So with nationals being in November, we'll decide um, later on in the year, kind of how everything's shaping out with all the teams. Um, I think we have just over 30 members in our competitive club. So give everybody the equal opportunity, see how partnerships shape out over the course of the year, see who's improving, who's not, um, kind of stagnating, and send the best possible team that we can. Um, we don't have to send these four. My guess, um, this is kind of our core group of people that are drilling all the time, kind of hardcore. So I'm guessing we'll probably have close to the same four. Um, and we're playing really well together right now. So hopefully we can keep it up. Yeah, I'm sure that you guys will, especially with the drilling going on. Curious, what did you think about the ball? This was a new ball that Duper unveiled for this tournament. How did you think it played? I think it played uh, pretty similar to a Dura, um, and that might just be because of the yellow that I'm used to. Um, it felt a slightly different than a Dura, um, but kind of similar in that feel. Gave a little slightly different bounce. Um, but I didn't really notice any horrible bounces, maybe one per game during our games, but it wasn't anything like egregious. Um, Duras, I know, hop around, you can call Dura bounces. Uh, you'll see them on the serve and everything, but for the most part, I didn't notice anything too bad. Um, played quicker than a Franklin. Okay, so was it kind of in between a Dura and a Franklin? I mean, that's like the, the classic answer when you get a new ball in people's play but do you feel like it was kind of in between those yeah i definitely think it was in between i don't know if you saw me before like i would go serve when we were serving i would hit the ball and spin it up in the air um i was just trying to make sure get the most round ball i could um, yeah probably like a third of them maybe got wobbly after a game but they stayed pretty true to their shape um it didn't play quite as fast as the dura did but definitely a little faster than the franklin okay um, so good news for gamma answer yeah right on so talking about the duper, this was a duper tournament. There was an APP tournament earlier this year. What did you think of the two differences in tournaments and what's kind of the path forward for college pickleball? Um, I think as far as a team aspect goes, I feel like the duper is set up a little better as far as the team goes, kind of you bring everybody together. I think their team atmosphere is a little different. Um, just as far as doubles goes, um, APP brought in the aspect of singles, um, yeah. but they took away one match of mixed. So kind of, you have to focus and choose. So I think there's a little more strategy maybe in the APP um, version, whereas who do you want to send out for singles? And then you have your gender doubles and then you have one thing a mix. So you kind of have to pick your best team. Um, but I also think it takes away from a little bit of the strategy of instead of just sending out your best mixed team, okay, like how can we match the two mixed teams up and get one win out of there? Right. So I think the strategies are just different as far as looking at the two. Um, personally, I prefer the way Duper runs it, kind of the MOP style of both genders, but I'm solely a doubles player. I don't play singles. <laughs> um, so I probably prefer that. I know people who really enjoy singles and they like the APP because it brought that aspect of it of the game in um, so it's kind of a personal preference well before i let you get out of here i got one more question what do you like to do outside of pickleball in school um i play video games with my friends i was playing <laughs> call of duty last night um we do that hang out with friends um i coached middle school wrestling this past cool. winter um so that was my second season of doing that um my younger brother is a senior in high school so hang out with him um, his friends play pickleball we all play <laughs> the family plays 
All right. Well, that's Jace Fitzpatrick, everyone. Pleasure having you on the show, brother. Thanks for having me.